The following trailer is rated H for honest. You've explored ruins and discovered ancient treasure as Nathan Drake. You've survived the horrors of the apocalypse as Joel and Ellie. Now become the character that put Naughty Dog on the map. A horrible furry in jorts whose arms are way too far up in his body. Crash Bandicoot. In an era where every console needed a kid-friendly mascot, discover Sony's answer to Mario and Sonic as they dish up an extremely linear platformer with some cute characters and solid gameplay that would have been the sh** in 1995, but was blown out of the water when Mario 64 came out two months earlier, making people who only owned a PlayStation twist themselves into knots as they tried to argue that their awkward, barely 3D Bandicoot game was better than an all-time classic. Hey, it could have been worse. At least they didn't have to stand for Gex the Gecko, or God forbid, Bubsy. Never. Play. Bubsy. Surf your way to victory as the titular Crash Bandicoot, a man-shaped animal with bizarre proportions and those knee-length jeans you crave, who slowly evolved from happy-go-lucky beach bum to motorcycle-driving badass to tribal tattooed douchebag that must stomp and spin his way through a legion of weaponized animals to save the world from the evil plans of some mad scientist with wacky hair in a story that's either Mega Man for furries or the exact same plot for Sonic. Experience the classic gameplay of the Bandicoot games as you bash your way through long hallway-like levels in 2D, very limited 3D, and why would you do this mode? Where you run directly at the screen until you fall into a pit you couldn't see as you break all the crates in the world and collect apples, crystals, and, uh, ghost shaman masks? For more chances to take on the awkward platforming and fixed camera angles. In gameplay, it seemed alright at the time, but it's probably gonna bum out some kids that play the remaster. Today, little Johnny learned that classic doesn't always mean good. Uncover the inexplicably massive catalog of Crash games. From the initial Naughty Dog trilogy of box-filled corridors, to the sequels from new developers that tried to copy the formula, open up the world, make it a beat-em-up, or some combination of the three, but never quite found that magic formula to make people love this poor deformed bandy man. Then dive into the extensive list of side games, like the kart racing titles that are way better than you would expect, the party games that are just dressed up minigame collections, the mobile games we feel obligated to mention, and the mini crash game they just shoehorned into Skylanders for some reason. Because there's nothing the children of today love more than failed mascots from the 90s. So bash your way through some crash today and drop 40 bucks for some touched up games from 20 years ago that are probably way worse than you remember. Or don't, because you don't want to give developers any crazy ideas about mascot platformers coming back. They might even go make a new Bubsy or a Knack 2 or something. <laughs> Just kidding. That would never happen. Starring Conan O'Brien's Persona, Penny Gadget, definitely started some fetishes, Furry Jax. Is this racist? Okay, this is probably racist. Dr. Phineas Gage, Bebop. Rocksteady, another evil doctor, yet another evil doctor, and Dr. Robotnik, George Bandersnatch. So if Crash exists in both the Uncharted universe and the Skylanders universe, does that mean there could be a crossover? Because all I want is for Nathan Drake to hang out with Drobot and Taekwon Crow. Is there a series that you have desperately been requesting and never got to see? Do you think your series is superior? Well, here's your chance to prove it in our first ever Honest Games Trailers Gauntlet. In the month of June, fans will get to vote from 24 of the most requested Honest Trailer games. And each week, we'll pit six games against each other, pick a winner, and make an Honest Trailer about it. Then in July, we'll put the final four in a month-long poll and truly see which series comes up on top. To cast your vote, look up the hashtag HGTVote on Twitter and Facebook. Good luck, and let's hope your game can survive the gauntlet. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. I'm a fool for dancing, and you're a dancing fool. My ultimate is ready. M. Shrek slay for the night. Shut up and butter my toast. Fighting is about who's left standing, nothing else.